Hi, everyone, and welcome to another SpaceX update video. In today's episode, we'll discuss the latest developments at Starbase and the successful return of NASA's OSIRIS-RX mission. The Starbase launch site in South Texas is eerily quiet, with Booster 9 and S-25 awaiting the FAA launch license. Although S-26 appears ready for its next testing campaign, no new road closures are posted on the Cameron County website. It's therefore difficult to say when we'll see its next test. At Massey's site, crews are preparing S-29 for its first cryogenic proof test. If we zoom in, S-29's lifting points have been fully covered with TPS tiles. Within the last 48 hours, SpaceX has successfully launched two Starlink missions, one from Cape Canaveral and the other from Vandenberg. Three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. And lift off. Go SpaceX, go Starlink Group 7 3. The boosters supporting the two missions, B 1060 and B 1075, landed successfully for a record 17th time and 6th time, respectively. So far this year, SpaceX has launched 68 missions, surpassing its previous all time high of 61 launches in a year. Falcon 9's reusability is truly incredible, and it is one of the greatest inventions in the space industry. NASA's OSIRIS-RX mission successfully returned to Earth on September 24, 2023, with samples from the asteroid Bennu. This was the first U.S. mission to collect and return a sample from an asteroid. The OSIRIS-RX spacecraft launched in 2016 and arrived at Bennu in 2018. It spent two years orbiting and studying the asteroid before collecting a sample of its surface material in October 2020. The spacecraft then began its journey back to Earth, arriving in September 2023. The OSIRIS-RX sample capsule landed safely in the Utah desert, where it was retrieved by NASA teams. The sample will be studied by scientists who hope to learn more about the formation of the solar system and the origin of life. That's all for today's SpaceX update video. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more SpaceX news and updates.